Hi, I'm Laurie Oberman, CEO of Talking Business, and today I'd like to talk to you regarding regarding. No, that wasn't a mistake, and your computer is fine. We're talking about the word regarding, and a couple of the other words that are connected to this, of course, regard and regards. There's a little bit of confusion, and I'd like to be able to get across how to use each one correctly. So let's start with the first example. I'm writing to you regarding our invoice. You could also say concerning our invoice or simply about our invoice. But let's use regarding because today that's the focus. I'm writing to you regarding our invoice. Notice we can also use regarding at the beginning of the sentence. Regarding the conference, I'd like to point out that we have a problem with whatever the issue is. Suppose you're discussing the conference with a colleague and there's a subject that he brings up and you have something to say. So in this regard, I feel we need to, and then whatever, in this regard. Now here we have a sentence which is not correct or a use of regard which is incorrect. With regards to the client's comments, the problem here being the fact that the word should be with regard to. Not with S, but without an S, with regard to the client's comments. I know where the problem's coming from. It's coming from here. Give my regards to your partner. Here, of course, the S is in place. Give my regards to your partner. And finally, best regards from Laurie Oberman, which is what you would sign at the end of your mail. So S is here, but not here. With regard to has no S. So if you found this useful, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll be back again with another top tip soon. Goodbye for now.